welcome to studio Maurice Hirsch, lawyer for the NGO Monitor. And joining us on Skype is retired Ambassador Alon Liel, the former Director General of the Israeli Foreign Ministry. Gentlemen, thank you both so much for being here. Alon, let's start with your reaction first to the fact that Umar Shakar has just left the country this evening. He is out of Israel. How are you feeling about this development? I'm feeling very sad about it. I met uh, Omar Shakir uh, three times last month, twice for dinner, and one uh, when he was in court. And uh, I needed a microscope to find out the differences between his views and mine. They're really almost identical. And when you uh, deport a young person, uh, intelligent, <clears throat> charismatic, that holds my views from the country, I feel like I was deported. Maurice, I want to bring you in here to respond to exactly what we're just hearing from Alon. He's describing an intelligent young man, and he's upset that he's been deported. Others are saying this is a BDS activist who was speaking out against the country. Your thoughts? Well, well Benita, first and, and foremost, you have to uh, um, examine the language that Alon Yale used, and you, you yourself used. Shakir isn't being deported. He was here on a work visa. Israel has a sovereign right to grant visas, to extend visas, and to deny visas. His visa was simply not extended. Why? Because he spent his time prior to coming to Israel, while he was in Israel, and even now on his way out of Israel, promoting BDS. That's something which Israel does not have to tolerate. Israel is a vibrant democracy which can tolerate a lot of criticism. We do tolerate a lot of criticism. But what we don't have to endorse and allow is foreigners coming in and promoting the destruction of Israel. That is BDS. It's the promotion of the destruction of Israel. And I think that it's very, very sad that an ex-director uh, general of, of, of the foreign ministry is someone can say that he is very close um, to the views of Shakir. That says possibly a lot about uh, uh, Alon Liel's uh, um, period at the, at the foreign ministry and why possibly we're in many of the problems that we're in today. Alon, your reaction? My reaction is that uh, what Israel is gaining nothing by deporting him and losing a lot. The uh, office is operating in Israel. Human Rights Watch office is operating. Staff has not been changed. He stays the director. And he will operate probably from Jordan. And uh, everything, or, or what Israel sees as a tax on Israel will continue. Although nothing, nothing like calling to destroy Israel. Omar Shakir, and unlike my colleague, I met him three times recently. So it's not by Facebook or Twitter or history. He is not BDS. I am not BDS. The only thing we support is the differentiation between Israel and the West Bank. And we support boycotting products of the settlements. And this is not from today and not from tomorrow. This is years. And I'm a merits member. And this is the position of a party in Israel, of the merits party that supports boycott of settlement products. And this is his, these are his views. So if you start uh, deporting people that think like this or not allowing them in, uh, Israel will only lose. That, I have to say, Benita, is probably one of the, the, the most ridiculous things that I've heard. Um, this fear of who's next. No, no one's next. If you're not a foreigner promoting beating, B, if you're pr not a foreigner promoting BDS on a work visa that you've been given uh, um, as a granted by Israel, then you have no fear. If you're a Liel, as, as, as venomous as you could be to the state of Israel, um, you have no fear. If you are other human rights uh, uh, activists, genuine human rights activists, then you have nothing to fear. But if you are here as a foreigner promoting BDS, then you are absolutely 100% right. You have a lot to fear, and that is why Shakir was sent. Alon Liel forgets to mention that Shakir travelled from Israel to Bahrain to try and get Israel sanctioned in FIFA. Just a, 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 a few Not months Israel. later, he worked on the, the, the sanctioning of Israel and, and of Airbnb, delisting all of the apartments in the settlements in, in Judea and Samaria, whether they were built illegally or not. Just a general blackout. These are settlements. They are 
un un unquestionably bad. He did the same thing, I have to understand, where we're sitting now in Jaffa. Just a month ago, he promoted the same idea here in Jaffa. His stance is not limited to, to the West Bank. His stance is not limited to, to Dan Samera. His idea is to destroy Israel through BDS because he doesn't accept Israel's right to exist. And Israel, defending itself, has every right to throw him out and to not extend his, his work visa. This is complete nonsense. Did he, again, Alon, did, he not travel to, did he not travel to Bahrain? And was he not refused entry to Bahrain because he went to promote uh, sanction on, on Israel in, 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 in FIFA? Did he not say in his own Facebook and in his own Twitter account that for two years he promoted the Airbnb decision to sanction Israel? Did he not say just recently that he was promoting the same actions by Airbnb here in Jaffa? Did he not uh, um, prompt bookings, bo bookings to do the same, to do the same thing? Every Listen. one of those activities. Alone, your reaction? Complete nonsense because he, he supported the issue of five football teams in the settlements that have to play in the Palestinian Football League under the Palestinian Football Association. That's Nothing not to true under FIFA's Israel. rules. You simply, you're, you're, you're simply perverting, as Shakir did, you're perverting FIFA's rules. FIFA, when it ruled on, on, on the decision on the, on the case in October 2018, rejected that claim outright as being both factually and legally wrong, and you're simply making up a claim in order to serve your point of view, which is exactly what Shakir did in order to promote his BDS activities. Look, the issue of FIFA concentrated on five football teams of the settlements. There was nothing else beyond it. Nothing else. The request else. from FIFA Not was to sanction Israel, Israel unless and it prevented... Five teams, these five teams, according to the FIFA regulations, have to play in the Palestinian Football Association. And we want pressures political pressures, Netanyahu, Trump, we want the case. I'm not saying Israel won the case. But the, it focused only on the teams of the settlements. That's it. So it was not to destroy Israel. It was not to boycott Israel. It focused on the settlements. And the difference between uh, your views and, and Omar Shakir's views is only regarding the differentiation of the West Bank. That's it. He's not against, he's not for destroying Israel, not for boycotting Israel. And you just spread these lies about him that brought to his deportation. Certainly this controversy sparking heated reaction. Thank you so much, gentlemen. We appreciate your time. Retired Ambassador Alon Liel, the former Director General of the Israeli Foreign Ministry, and Maurice Hirsch, lawyer for the NGO Monitor. We really appreciate your insight on this very controversial topic. Thank you.